Hi guys, I'm Mario Duba and today I'm in Twickenham to meet Ed, one of Honda's e-progress customers. Now e-progress is kind of new to me, but I've been told it makes keeping an EV charged simple. We're going to talk to Ed to find out what that means in the real world. Let's go. Alright, Hi Ed. You? Good to see Good you. Good to see you. Ed, so what is e-progress? Well, at its core, it's a way of connecting your car all the way back to the Honda mothership. And in the middle, you are saving both the cost of charging as well as saving carbon. It's a lot of moving parts, but it has been seamless. I'm astonished. Practically, how does it work? So you get a charger installed, you get an app, and you then set when you want to be using it and say, I don't need it till 8 a.m., it will magically pick the lowest cost time to charge for you. That's so clever. Should we go for a ride? Let's do it. Ed, tell me, what was the motivation on starting with e-progress then? Originally, I thought it would be really interesting to just see what Honda was trying to accomplish. They really have built a system that is very much tied up with not burning so much fossil fuel. You're saving the planet with every drive, sometimes even without driving. And did I hear that when it is charging at home, this is building into your own energy infrastructure in your in your household. Yes, I'll get notifications that say if you charge your car between this time and this time, weirdly enough, you get paid. <laughs> Cha ching And it's all part of your bill because they are also integrated with whoever your power company is. They've got kind of every base covered then, haven't they? They really do. So Ed and I were talking a lot earlier and to know that using e-progress that you can reduce your carbon footprint and it saves money, that seems like enough for me as a consumer to want to go out and buy a Honda e and use e-progress right now. Just going from a, an internal combustion engine car to an EV is one step. And we believe that the EV customer is in an EV because they want to make that impact. So we're helping them to further reduce their CO2 footprint by scheduling at the right cost and at the right CO2 time. Matt, you must be getting a lot of exciting data back. Tell us a bit about that. Of course, yeah. So obviously we're monitoring where the customers are making their savings, how much they're saving. We've got a bit of a surprise for you actually, Ed. What I can show you is some of your data. So since September time, we've saved around 270 pounds. The other interesting point of the data is the CO2. So again, had you just plugged in at any time, it would have been about 237 kilograms of CO2. Actually, it was about a 160. And so we've made about a one third saving. How does that make you feel, Ed? Well, I'm amazed. I mean, almost no effort on my part, but with Honda's help, I've reduced my cost and my CO2 cost. Why would anybody not do that? Matt, thank you so much for giving me the time today and telling me all about e-progress. Ed, I need a ride home. Well, I've learned a lot from Ed and Matt today that e-progress isn't just a way for customers to save money. It also helps make better use of our energy infrastructure and guarantees that a Honda e is always ready to go when you need it.